Five players were sent off, four of them in a mass punch-up at the end of the second division match against Plymouth Argyle. One of the five, FA Cup hat-trick ke hero Kevin Davis, will now miss the quarter-final against Wrexham in two weeks' time. And the police say they may prosecute the players involved in the brawl. This wasn't the glory game Saltergate's become used to. Even Ronnie Morgé's high tackle on 36 minutes, which earned him the first of the game's five red cards, couldn't prepare the crowd for what was to come later. Bruce Grobelar was on the cast list. His long clearance led to the first Plymouth goal midway through the second half. Mike Evans, the scorer. And a second goal from Mark Saunders was good news for the relegation strugglers from the southwest, down to earth with a bump for the FA Cup quarter finalists. Though Jonathan Howard, one of their heroes against Nottingham Forest, cut the gap to a single goal with five minutes left. Tension mounted and in the final minute spilled over. A week on from their most famous victory, Chesterfield were making headlines again of a very different sort. An FA inquiry seems certain. The police will watch these and other pictures before deciding whether any players should be prosecuted. The referee, Richard Poulain, said he'd never seen anything like it and he was frightened. He had his work cut out trying to decide who to send off. He himself had seen the blue-shirted Chesterfield number 6 Darren Carr and his opposite number Tony James get involved at the start. Carr was the first to get the red card, walking out of the cup quarter-final, followed by James. The referee's assistant had seen the two number 8s knocking seven bells out of each other. The FA Cup hero for Chesterfield, Kevin Davis, barely waited for his red card. He too misses the quarter-final and Richard Logan followed him to the dressing room very reluctantly. All this in the final minute, Plymouth stayed 2-1 in front, though 8-9 down in terms of playing numbers. Now, the inquiries start. Nick Powell, Sky 